все бы отдал, чтобы посмотреть, как он их тратить будет. Это, э, здорово, Сева. Я слышал, ты себе тут это чесиновый купил. Ролик все называются. Ну да, взял. И чё? Могу себе позволить. А продай их мне. Цену хорошую дам. Чё? Да ты знаешь, сколько они стоят. Да ты на них за всю жизнь не заработаешь. Чего? Вообще-то я великий бизнесмен. Меня еще это, Игорь Богатый называют. Просто я это, не говорю никому. Ну вот, здесь на две пары твоих часов хватит. Слышь, грязный, ты что мне дал? Что мне делать с этой бумагой? Костер, что ли, разводить? Ах ты, гад, белки, обманул. Я тебе покажу. Ну, бомжа развел, кого бы еще тронкануть? О, а чего вы думаете-то? Семь бед, один ответ. Сестра, я дошел до магазина, купил бутылку колы без сахара. Диетическая кола гораздо лучше с содой реагирует. Хе-хе. Через пару минут я уже заходил домой. Сейчас главное, чтобы Ирина не увидела, что я здесь. Я потихоньку заглянул на кухню. Ага, посуда стоит мой. Ну что, держись, сестренка. Самый крутой пранкер идет к тебе. Я осторожно подкался к сестре, поставил между ее ног полу, аккуратно открыл книжку и насыпал соду. Ого, вот это фонтан! А как сестра подпрыгнула? Весело так раз! Ирина посмотрела на меня глазами полными злости. Кажется, пора бежать. Ну я тебе сейчас покажу! Стопенку покажу! Ты чего, Ирин? Это всего лишь пранк. Весело же. Весело? Ты мне одежду из бурки всю кухню залил. На руки на свои игры потратил. Кто это все убирать теперь будет? Ой, Ирин, ты просто скучная. Совсем шуток не понимаешь. Ах так? Это я скучная? Все, достал. Видеть тебя больше не могу. Уходи, не возвращайся, пока не поумнеешь. С этими словами сестра вытолкала меня за дверь. Я ничего не вижу. Вот. Видеть, и чего это она так взбесилась? Сама шуток не понимает, а меня из дома выгнала. Я спустился вниз на лифте, вышел на улицу. Настроение мое заметно ухудшилось. И еще бы, я всего лишь пошутил, и за это решился дома. Где это видано? Размышляя об этом, я шел по двору. На спортивной площадке у дома я увидел буковника. Они чему-то очень радовались и смеялись. Веселятся стоят, вот у кого-то сегодня все хорошо. Не успел я пройти и двух шагов, как горники меня заметили. Ну пипец, с вами мне только сегодня разбираться не хватало. Я медленно подошел к гопникам. Ты меня сестра из дома выгнала. Вот и хожу, вражу. Не знаю, что делать. Ты чего паришься? Жизнь не радуется надо. Он как мысль. Это противоречит конституции. Веселиться. Это случай, давай, Семин. Телефон позвонить. Я протянул гопнику свой телефон. Он стал куда-то звонить. Алло, полиция, у нас на территории возле дома заложена бомба. Срочно приезжайте. Гопники сильно засмеялись. Вся вывернул мне телефон. Ребят, вы чего? Какая полиция? Какая бомба? Самый настоящий пацан. А что, ты испугался, что ли? Я... Да нет, просто мы же с моего телефона звонили. Сейчас за мной полиция приедет. Гопники продолжали ржать надо мной. А мне было совсем не до смеха. Ну ладно, где пацан? by the secular media. Don't you worry though, we'll convert you. My brother showed some, uh... sexual weakness in his younger days, but well, now he's a happily married man with three children and his man. Sour. Well, if you do well, if you send a born in a patrol trial, we will of course pay you for your time. Last time I looked, this was still a service-driven market economy. This I have to see. Because of Here we are. No sign of illegals out here. Well, they must be a 
inside. Go see if you can flush them out. Is there any place in the world I'd rather be than Civilized people. Keep those stun guns at the ready, my friend. They're probably gang members. I heard that some of these undesirables are trafficking illegal guns into our very, very peaceful country. Mm. Now, who do a thing like that? Hey, I, I ain't being zealous about this. America's for Americans. And that's why they call it, yeah, you know. America! Yeah! Apart from young Joseph here. Yeah, that's right, what he said. At least Joseph here wants to be Americanized. You don't see him dressed up like some little sissy bullfighter now, do you? No! You might want to tell him not to salute with a straight arm. Hold on to your pointed hat! We're taking the scenic route. They're a law unto themselves. Can you believe they're singing? It's like they don't even care. You can keep your socialist ballads of revolution and discontent to yourself. <laughs> Go subdue those illegals, Trevor. I want to see how you handle that stun gun.
Stop creeping? No more creeping. He like him. retired from from creeping. From everything. That's funny cause like the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie. For a dude that kills dudes, and eats dudes, and fuck dudes, you talk truth. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid, or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or, where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. You unhooked it, man! We ain't leaving them whips! Hey, we good, you old clumsy motherfucker. Man, it's a good thing I told your dumb ass about that shit. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that, as a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. 
and the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who, who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him. Killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. Mm -hmm. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rods. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. And a part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tied with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulage. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, the sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nap. Nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you. That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Vent. The turd was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah. Probably. How you do it? Where? When? All right. All right! Fuck! I was running this small air freight outfit in North Yankton. A tiny operation. There's one beagle I could borrow when I needed it. We were kids. Kids with planes. So... This guy I know says there's this other guy needs some hot cargo moved across the border. Money's good. 
and I don't know enough to check references, so I'm in. A few days later, I'm waiting on the runway. I see this dust coming up off the road, only... Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? All right, shit. I'll handle this. If you keep driving, I'll use the JB-700 to get rid of them. Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie. It's Franklin. Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm. We got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost it. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Taken care of. Head back to town. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Uh, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, the last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but 
Now, nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? It's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This'll track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I told you! He ain't my G- Let me down! Let me- Fuck it down!
You want me to waste a boyfriend? There's more guys coming from down there. Throw me a gun. There you go. Here the guys you was talking about. They got you locked down hard, homie. Yeah, it turns out they really want Trevor dead. Go figure. Take it in, Tom. What else am I gonna do? Two more coming at us from the left, man. More of these two. You want to get out of here? Hey, this way! Come on! about the size of his shit. Yeah. Woo. Back there on that meat hook, I thought it was over. When the dude had the knife on me, man, I thought the same thing. Frank, thank you, bro. You didn't have to. Yeah, bro, of course I did. If this shit means anything, shit, the second I knew. Hey, how'd you even find me? Lester sent me this app that tracked your sales signal. Ah, Lester. How'd you even know I got snatched up? Trevor... So, kind of. I asked him what he knew about you disappearing in North Yankee. Yeah, I think mean, he wasn't that forthcoming, was he? Well, he told me it. Man. He told me in the end. How'd they pinch you anyway? Oh, shit. We're up there, and Trevor freaks the fuck out. He was about to kill me, Franklin. And then these Chinese guys show up. They take me. He fucks up. For real? Too real. Okay. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk about that, how about Devin Weston? Weston? What about it? We delivered the last of them cars, only he ain't paid us yet. Says he gonna invest the fucking money. Well, he's a clever guy. You know, that might not be such a bad idea. Are you fucking serious? Look, Franklin, you're gonna get your money, okay? Hey, from the sounds of it, you'll even get some interest. You'll get some interest, too. And I got this other deal with Weston down at the film studio. So we gotta wait for that to play out before I got any leverage over your team. For real? Come on, Franklin. I've had my feet chained to a meat hook for the last few hours. All right, then. I'll see you. For sure. 
Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right, well, listen. We had a deal! Hey! Here's... There's an old man who might hit back! How you like me now? That's on you, dickwad! Come in! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training.